will let it do what it wants. I'm gonna run out of line. Oh, oh the fish rig 180's got us to work out for it here. Well then and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I'm fishing the border-esque today, a very prolific salmon fishery and I'm looking for redemption. Last time I was here I lost the biggest fish I've ever seen in the UK. It was a giant salmon. I lost two fish actually so I'll show you those in a minute. They both put up a uh, great fight. I was with Harry from Bang Average Fishing. I am again today and um, last time I was here he had the salmon rod and I was just trout fishing really light gear wasn't expecting a salmon at all even though I know that this is a good salmon river thought salmon was so rare these days that if you it'll be fine to just target trout with light gear and well you'll see for yourself what happened but that was the fight of a lifetime fish Fish! Big fish! Oh, that's a big fish. That's gotta be a salmon. Oh, my heart's racing. Oh. It's just cruising in the middle. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Massive fish! Oh. Oh. Oh, the fish rig 180's got its work out for it here. No! No! It's off! It's off! No! Oh my days! Well, that oh, that is going to go down in history as one of the most heartbreak, if no, the most heartbreaking fish loss of my life. That was undoubtedly a big salmon. I had it on for over a minute as well and it actually bent the hook out. My drag was pretty loose as you can probably hear. Yeah, there, but it just wasn't quite loose enough. Maybe I think I was rising the rod a bit too high and it just bent, it just gave way. I don't know what to feel. So you can see there, that's what it's done to my hook. Bent it right out. So that was so frustrating that that fish straightened my hook. It actually straightened or bent out a hook on a trout lure. So what could I have done? The drag was loose. I feel like Salmo have let me down a bit on that one, to be honest. Mine's never caused me any issues. Fish, fish. Net ready, net ready. Whoa. It's off, it's off. Oh no, it isn't. Well done, well done. Let it go, let it go. Sort that clutch out. Both hands on the rod. Okay. It's off. Oh no, isn't it? It keeps like jarring. It's gonna, mate. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fight hard. You've just gotta let it go, let it do what it wants. I'm gonna run out of line. I need no, to move, I need to move. Got... It's about to shoot off. Do it. Do it. 
fish rig 180 doing absolute pits, mate. Scream and run. Oh my days. You've got it, mate. Keep going. This is a river monster we've got on here. Police have had one <laughs> one practice attempt, eh? You have literally I'm trying to bully it. They get down here, don't try and pull me up down just give it you. <laughs> <laughs> right, if I make an attempt on it, you ready? Oh no, it's not liking the fact that I've just said that. Not ready, but he's not far off. Yeah. This is quite possibly the most important net duty of your life. It's a big salmon this way. It's a huge salmon. It's got a proper springer on. He's tiring though. He is tiring though. I've not got my goat on by the way. It's alright, I'm going. I'm on 9% though. We'll get him in, don't worry. I'm feeling him for you. Don't you worry. Try and get down as close as you can, mate. He needs a minute and he's just not ready yet. If you see it coming close, don't just stab at it. Like, I don't mind if you no, don't I'm get it first time. Not. Jesus. Let him go, let him go. Unbelievable. That salmon was a mid double, I reckon. And he could have been anywhere between 13 and sort of 16, 17 pound that. And right at the end, my GoPro ran out of charge, so. You wouldn't have seen the, the grand finale, but we didn't have it on much longer than that. Maybe we tried to get it in the net, we got close. How far away from the net, do you reckon it was? Within half a metre? Less than half a metre away. And it just came off. One kick and it was off. So this video is going to cover two days fishing and we are actually staying overnight in a caravan which is, I don't know, it's going to be fun, it's going to be good crack. Free caravan that they let you stay on when you stay in the river so we'll be spending the night there and we'll be up early in the morning to do a bit more uh, bit more fishing. So it's going to be salmon, trout but there's a chance of a few other things really so we're just going to see how we get on looking for that big salmon. Let's try and get a bit of redemption. So my setup for the day, I'm using the RR3000 by Rigged and Ready. 64 pound braid on there, down to a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader and a classic orange fly and see. Just having my first few casts. Fly and see. Got the heavy-ish set up on today. Harry's just around the corner doing a bit of fly fishing. So I know that I'll hear him shouting if he's got anything, but there's plenty of fish around that corner rising for the dry fly. Just trout and stuff, maybe the odd grayling, even though they're not the target. They still might take a dry fly, much like a trout will. So we could get a bit of variety today, but the main goal is the salmon. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this overnighter, is to catch a big salmon. Yes. Fish, fish. Could have been earned that. It's been fight, it's been bouncing hard in there. Get the line up. Yeah, it's nice. Fish, mate. Beautiful. Oh, that is what we are talking about. It's a grey win. I knew it was a grey win. I thought there was some interesting goings on there. It's a stunning grey win on the fly. Ooh, get out of that tree stump that's down there. Get out of that tree stump that's down there. I had a feeling it was a grey wing. I, there was a bit of me that's thinking trout, but uh, but no, it's, it's clearly a. Uh, oh, here we go. It's clearly a grey It's a nice bloody hell. Don't want to lose this. Bloody hell, it's fighting hard. And my dad's old reel as well. It's, fight, it's a good sized one as well. It's not a small one. I know he's out of season, but, and we've got the biggest net ever for him as well. Oh, he's a beauty. He's an absolute beauty. Keep putting up a, putting up a decent fight, this lad. Oh, he's not ready. 
He's not ready. He's not ready, though. He's been giving me the bloody run around this fish. Nice flipping grey wind, mate. Fighting hard. It's not, it's not the target for today, and he's out of season. And he's bloody jumping for us. Oh, it's a belter, mate. Go on, grab the net for us. This is a huge grey wind. About probably about two and a half, three pounds. Hey, the biggest net ever. But he's in. Good effort. That's sir. a stunning brownie. It's stunning brownie. <laughs> stunning brownie. Stunning <laughs> grayling. Stunning brownie. Oh, guys, I am buzzed with this grayling. Let's get a quick close up. Look at those colours. <laughs> what a fish. Beautiful. On the dry fly as well. I wonder what's gone for it here, though. Interesting. Probably a cormorant or something like that. Might be breeding marks, maybe. I don't know. It's on the other side as well. Hmm. Look at that for a fish. Lady of the river. Might be a bit shallow and a bit fast here for a salmon to be held up, but I'm gonna work my way down to that pool there where you saw I had that first salmon on. But unfortunately, straightened the hook on my salmo lure, which <laughs> I am still annoyed about that. Look how fast this either tide's coming and all the river levels rising. I'm keeping my phone in the same place and you can just see it sweeping across the screen. Absolutely crazy. There's such a current coming in. Right, let's make a move. So this water was ankle deep pretty much just before and then in a matter of about 10 minutes, this tide's come up so bad and nearly cut us off completely. So I'm just swapped over to the rigged and ready fly rod for a bit. Got this ridiculous thing on. This Hopefully this is just going to be a big present on top of the water. I don't even know what this is called, but it's my biggest, sort of most ambitious looking thing that I bought the other day, so let's see if it'll work. What an idyllic spot. This little pool looks deep as well. And it's just before some rapids, so with a bit of luck, there might just be something holding up in here. Did you know salmon can actually weigh themselves? Yeah, they've got their own scales. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> it's about half six now. So that makes it about seven hours of fish for so far. Probably a couple more, then heading back to the caravan for the night. As much as I'd love to call it a day, <laughs> I mean, Harry would both love to call it a day, to be honest. Go back to the caravan and have some dinner, but we're prevailing. I've got um, his old school fly rod. Just having a little dabble. He's over there with his Devon Chimino on, I think. Just gonna finish the day off. Looks like he's stacked, I was gonna say, in a very re a very relaxing way, but <laughs> doesn't look very relaxed what's going on over there. There's Gate Man <laughs> with his waders around his ankles. <laughs> on the way back to the caravan though. There he is again. <laughs> I tried it across. Picked up a bit of debris there. Maybe why you shouldn't uh, drive off road at night. Back at the caravan now, we've just cooked up a bit of scram, but I just thought I'd give you a little tour of our accommodation for the night. So this is my the room I'll be sleeping in. Um, there's a lot of spiders when we came in here, so there's a quick extermination job had to be done. Then we moved through to the the bathroom. And we also have a very equipped, very well equipped kitchen area. Then panning round from the kitchen, we see the living area. You got Harry, ma <laughs> Harry making himself comfortable down there. Nice table of snacks. So the leftovers from the hot dog. And that's my duvet there. And we're just settling into a bit of 
Been naked and afraid on D-Max. <laughs> Here we have an ideal post unsuccessful day salmon fishing dinner. Three hot dogs, one bonus hot dog on the side there. Bit of cheese, bit of ketchup, bit of mustard. What more could a man want than that? So this is my abode for the night. Well, that's it, folks. Alarm set for 5.45. Let's hit the sack. Six in the morning and we are ready oh, to rumble. I'm sure you've never seen this time of day, mate. <laughs> that behind us is where we were kipping last night. And the river is just over that ridge. In about a five minute walk, we're probably going to drive down. The ground's a bit wet today, so we might be playing with fire getting stuck, but I'm sure we'll be all right. I'm back on gate duty. <laughs> Come on. Let's go try and catch a salmon this morning. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Nice morning deer over there. You can just about see that in the middle. So there's been a little bit of a tactic change this morning. I started off with a fly and see and the fly rod. Just ran through one of the main pools trying to pick up a salmon early doors. It was a bit of wishful thinking really. But we've swapped over some light trout gear now. We really just need to pull a bit of confidence out. It's been a long day's fishing yesterday and we're facing a possibly long, uneventful day's fishing today. So we're just trying to raise a bit of morale and get a trout on the bank. Just quickly run you through my setup. I'm using the Abu Garcia Superior S shallow spool reel with the Fish Rig 180 by Rigged and Ready. On that reel, we have 20 pound white braid down to an 18 pound fluorocarbon trace. And then for the lure, we have the Salmo Slick Stick such a big rattle in there now you'd be forgiven for wondering why am i doing such a thing using the lure that let me down so cripplingly badly last time and the answer is i'm not too sure really i've just got that feeling it's got such a nice action through the water it's just irresistible so fingers crossed we don't hook a salmon but we've got a strong line on just in case did i honestly just say fingers crossed we don't hook a salmon no it would still be nice to have a go would still be nice to have a go some breakfast preparations going on the trout fishing didn't go very well this morning so we're coming back to recalibrate get ourselves sorted a bit of brekkie and then we'll be back after the salmon so it's after lunch now i'm just gonna get a little fly on well not lunch breakfast more like it's after the bacon sandwiches i've just got a tiny little fly on because i've seen some fish rising as we're driving past the river not sure what they all they are. Don't look like a great uh, average size at all. They just look like small fish. But at this point, it'd just be good to catch anything. To be honest. fish it's so small I'm not even sure it's a fish what is that oh it swam around my leg Looks like a salmon par to me. Yeah, salmon par. Hey. <laughs> well, that, ladies and gents, is the first fish of hours and hours work. I think it's a salmon par. I'll just get out to show you in a bit uh, more detail now. Definite salmon par. Oh, 
not quite the monster I lost the other day, but it's a fish. The things a small fish can do for morale. Fish. Yeah. It's a nice one as well. It's, it's oh it's a trout. Might even be a sea trout. Sea trout. Actually, maybe not. Borderline. I think that's a brownie, mate. That's a stunning brownie. This does have a red spot on it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's off you, though, mate. You kept going and you've nailed one. So, finally managed a, a fish other than a salmon par. Nice looking trout on the same fly. Very welcome fish after a very tough couple of days fishing and only my third ever fly caught wild trout. Just gonna send this fish back on its way. What a lovely looking trout. Well, what a cracking turn of events. First trout on this river. Very pleased to just be catching a fish. It has been a long, long haul today and yesterday. But we'll be back after the salmon, I think, before before it's called a day for sure. I'll have a few more runs through all the big pools for the big flying sea, and we'll see if we can make make it happen. Lovely little ducklings joining me. Say hello. Whole family here, that one's chasing flies around. So I'm now on the other side of the lake. River? Or river. We've got Harry over there. And I've just waded all the way across this river because I've seen seen a nice salmon jump out on the other bank. And that's because the tide has just come in and this section's tidal. Even though we're quite far inland now, the tide still reaches it. And it brought some fresh fish in. So I'm just trying my best to catch one, basically. Hey, we're in! <laughs> nice! I think it's a sea trout. It could be. I've not got George here to help me, or a net. It is. It's a nice fish. Oh, that is a sea trout. It is a sea trout. Oh, seams. Absolute seams. Oh, that's a stunning sea trout. And he's off. There he is. Look at him go there in the current. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I do enjoy a nice hot Vimto. So we've just stopped after, we just stopped for a quick Vimto and now we're back. Salmon's the aim for the rest of the trip. I've got my black flying sea on, rigged and ready reel, heavy rod, heavy rod, heavy line. I'm not risking anything. I am not going to lose a fish like I did last time. That was a, that was such a tough, thing to take losing that massive salmon the other day in fact i've recently seen my partner go through childbirth and i can say i can say the pain's comparable come on salmon come on where are you where are you not got long in the day now not long at all this is probably the last little swim but you will see a salmon by the end of this video not all heroes wear capes they wear waders. We've got a bit of a lamb, stuck lamb situation. Harry spotted it. Oh, he's got it. He's only kind of got it. So 
it's a bit of a shame we didn't achieve the target today, but just to sweeten the deal for you a bit, I'll show you a, a salmon Harry caught recently. If you're new to this channel, you might not have seen his, or even if you're not new to this channel, you might not have seen his channel before, Bang Average Fishing, I would highly recommend it. And he had a nice salmon the other day on a river just around the corner from here. So, you can, so you're not gonna be watching a salmon fishing video without a fish at the end of it. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll catch you down the road. Yes, 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 Ray. It's a salmon. It's a bloody salmon. Yes, Ray. We've got a salmon on, guys. We've got a salmon on. On the Devonshire Minnow. Second time round. <laughs> hey! That is what we are talking about, right? Don't think it's a big E. But I'm not, I don't care. I'm panicking. Yeah, it's a salmon, all right. It's a salmon. It's not putting up that much of a scrap yet, but it's a lovely fish. It's a lovely fish. Oh my God. It's jumping everywhere. He's off. No, he's not. Not for time for net issues. We have tried so hard for this fish on here. We are not. He's jagging. Yeah. Lovely fish. Lovely fish. Lovely, lovely fish. Can't see the net. Right, the net's done. It's a big fish. Oh! Sorry, I am absolutely panting to death. I had a feeling today was going to be my day. I had a feeling. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. He, she's tiring. She's tiring. She's tiring, all right. She's tiring. Fresh fish. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm out of, I'm out of breath. I'm so out of breath. I'm not losing him now. Ooh, not ready for the net. He's not ready for the net. We've got it ready. We've got it ready. All the hard work on this river. Feeling like it's coming coming to all its fruition. It is! It bloody is! Oh! Lewis, come on! Guys, guys, I've finally done it. I have caught a freshly caught oh, spring of salmon, baby. What a beautiful fish. Oh my God. I've got to be so quick with this. This fish is about 10 pounds. I am absolutely bloody buzzing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's get this fish back ASAP. Guys, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful salmon. Probably about, I don't know, maybe eight, nine pound fish. So letting it recover there in the current. She's ready. Oh, and she's off. 